Our fourth inductee is Holly Bentz. Holly was a two-time team MVP for the women's tennis team in 1994-95 and 1997-98, despite never having played tennis before her arrival on campus. She had 18 singles and 11 doubles victories over her career. Holly Ben Sajak, um, the first thing that comes to mind is a great teammate. Um, also a person that even if she hadn't experienced it before, she was willing to try anything. And keep in mind, it was 1994, and that was our very first year of the NCAs. And we were looking to field teams and we had 54 athletes the year before, I think that year we had 92, and so we had many athletes that we needed uh, to fill out the minimum sports sponsorship roster. So I was looking for people to play, and actually I put out a flyer saying if you didn't matter whether you had experience or not, I could teach you. So Holly came to the team, and first of all, she was an amazing athlete. To give you an idea of the athlete that she was, um, she had never played tennis before prior to coming other than recreationally and immediately in the first year she was our number one singles player, number one doubles player and she's held the number one or two singles position for the next four years. You know when we talk, you know, I know there's a lot of cliches about you know great teammate, great leader and so on, um, but she really was an epitome of a great teammate. I mean she made practice fun for the coaches as well as teammates. They got together off campus and her happy-go-lucky slash of, of course attitude um, really made it fun to be around both as an administrator, coach, and also her teammates. Um, that is infectious and that is what really helped launch our tennis programs. What was also unique is you know at the end of her sophomore year Holly had an opportunity to transfer and I talked to her about other opportunities on campus and actually talked to her uh, into running cross country and soon quickly became a very avid runner as well as a great tennis player and matter of fact um, that experience in running at Villa Julie at that time propelled her into racing and so on post-graduation. Um, she was a really special athlete and in all of my years I've been involved in 27 years of college coaching she is one of the most unique athletes with an ability level to learn quickly, adapt quickly, and she did it with such a positive attitude, which is a reflection of what the Dick Watts Athletic Hall of Fame is. From the class of 1998, it is my honor to welcome Holly Bentz into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Thank you so much for that introduction. <laughs> you make me cry. Um, so I'm so honored to be recognized by Stevenson as a pioneering athlete who helped to build the foundation for this really incredible program. Um, this past January, my nephew came out from Atlanta to do a transfer student tour of the campus. And um, that was the first time I'd seen the facilities in over 20 years. And I was so impressed at where the school is you know, grown to and just the level of athletics and everything, but still maintaining the personal relationships with the students. It's, it's a really incredible balance. Um, so I'm also proud to be a member of the first NCAA Division III tennis team, um, where I actually learned to play tennis from Coach Adams. Um, he recruited me, and it was a really, really great experience. Uh, so it's been 20 years since I've been back to campus and I don't remember all of the game points or the big matches or big points or anything like, like that but what I do remember is just a lot of fun. We had such a special time together and, and so much fun. Um, a lot of you know cold, freezing cold March 7 a.m. practices where I had to drive an hour each way with no classes that day um, and um, just 
we just had so much fun and, and Coach Adam spent so much time with me just between you know between classes just going down to the courts and practicing and everything so I've, I've just been really blessed with this amazing journey full of inspiring people. Um, I want to especially thank my parents um, for sending me to Villa Julie and making this opportunity possible. Um, I was the first person in my family to go to college and graduate, so that was, it was really great they made that happen. Um, I also want to thank my sister, who you saw the picture of. Um, we got to play doubles together, and she spent a lot of time off the court as well playing tennis with me. Um, so that was, that was really neat to have that together. And my husband is here. Um, we actually met in computer class, and I talked him into joining the men's tennis team. And we got to have a really great time playing tennis together. Um, unfortunately, he didn't get the great experience of having Coach Adams as his, as his coach, but um, nonetheless, he had fun. And, and lastly, I want to thank um, one of my life mentors, Coach Adams, <laughs> who was such a special person to me. Um, he recruited me and taught me how to play tennis. Uh, he encouraged me and instilled so much confidence in me just as a person and as an athlete. Um, and I've continued that journey the rest of my life, so I've continued to stay an athlete doing all sorts of different things. Um, and I just feel like there's nothing I can't do now, and I can just pick up any sport and play, so it's, it's really nice to feel that whatever I do, I can be good at. Um, so I just want to tell you one quick story. So Coach Adam started it, but what I want to say is I was we was after a game in the spring of my sophomore year, and I told him I was going to transfer to Salisbury State. I said, I'm, my best friend's there. They have sororities and fraternities and fun things that college kids want to do, and I, I want to go to Salisbury. And I had already played them in tennis, so I knew I could probably get on the team somehow. Um, so I, I was thinking, I was, I was really sure I was going to do this. And he was like, you know what, just give it one more semester. Just, just see how it goes. So I, I was like, okay, all right, fine, I'll, I'll do that. So I took his advice, and it totally changed 100% the trajectory of my life. Um, that semester, I actually ended up meeting my future husband in computer class, and um, he's the love of my life, and <laughs> um, I wouldn't change a thing about it. So I just, thank you. Um, so. As I sat down and thought about what I was going to write tonight, I, I reflected on all the experiences that Stevenson offered. And I thought about all the amazing faculty and staff um, who are here and the personal relationships that I developed with so many people. And um, it just created this, this wonderful experience that I really don't think that I could have experienced at any other university. Um, so I want I to just thank everybody, and I know Chip Roush is here, and she, she was really fantastic. Um, so I just want to say I uh, thank you for inducting me and for, for you know, in, including me in this group. Um, I'm so proud to be a pioneer and in being included in this, and I'm so thankful I was able to give something back to this, this really special institution. Thank you.